All right, so I noticed along the way that I have some naming issues here. This is actually supposed to be gun high. This is supposed to be aimer high. And it threw that little one on the end uh, because I already had a gun high in the scene. And then we've got cylinder, we've got the slot. There's slot low, and then this I think is my, yeah, okay, so this is gonna be aimer low. And it's actually really important uh, for the baking process that we have a one-to-one -one relationship between a piece of high poly geometry and a piece of low poly geometry, and that the suffix is actually underscore high and underscore low. So that is not arbitrary. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide my high poly geometry, and we can just start in on the UVs here. I'm gonna go ahead and isolate. Actually, we don't, I'll just start with the gun the main thing. So we'll go ahead and hide some of this stuff. So I'm going to go to my UV editor. I mean the toolkit is going to be kind of docked in there. So these UVs here are just totally random and, and what we're looking at here is the texture borders are going to be outlined in white which is why this looks totally crazy but we've got these little areas here that were sourced from the primitives so they actually just inherited the UVs from that primitive, which is totally fine. Um, we're not actually going to be using any of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and select everything and get it out of the way. So this this area right here between you know zero and one and X and, and a U and V is going to be our, our primary working area. So I'm just going to go through and grab some of the easy stuff. And we can go to create and then camera based. And then I'm going to come over to unfold and hit optimize. Oh, it looks like we have an, an issue somewhere. Uh, something is broken with the geometry on like kind of a subtle way. So normally I would just say go ahead and fix it, but I'm not going to this time because I actually want to see if we can, we can track down what the problem is. So I'm going to go to mesh cleanup. And then you can have the operation either just clean up the problem geo or you can select it. And then I'm going to come down here and we'll go ahead and say non-manifold and lamina. So lamina just means two faces that are sitting on top of each other. And non-manifold is like if you have an edge where there are two, two faces are allowed to touch an edge and you happen to have like a third little triangle just poking out somewhere. So sort of an, an illegal face. So here we can see it, it went ahead and, and uh, lit them up for me. So we can kind of pop in. And my guess is it's probably just an unwelded vert, although normally it wouldn't throw an error for that, but who knows. So let's just try to go to merge. And I'm gonna zoom out, make sure I don't collapse anything. 0 .01, 0 0.001 is usually pretty safe. 0 0.01 you just might like some of these I don't actually know how far apart these are but at a certain point you'll start collapsing stuff that you don't want to collapse and that's always and usually something you discover like after you've already done a bunch of work so it's kind of a, a thing to be careful of so let's see if that happened to fix it so I'm just going to double click this again and hit optimize no okay so let's just go ahead and fix it and see if that'll so there so it's still got some distortion in it and it's obviously it's not as as vertical as we'd like to see but you can kind of see it's got a little bit of a wobble on it so I find that typically like, you know, clicking optimize and click, clicking unfold will give you a pretty good, uh, a pretty good thing here. And wh what we're looking for is if I turn on this little grid here, what I want to see is the little squares here. Initially, they're all going to be the same size, but that's something that we can do with a, a button press pretty conveniently. But we want to make sure that there isn't a lot of distortion in our squares. And let me show you what distortion looks like. So if I grab some of these UVs, and I just kind of, you know, scoot them a little bit. That's what we're we're kind of looking out for. So this is good. This is bad. And it's pretty easy to see what's going on here. I'm just going to click this little checkerboard. The shape of this area here very closely matches the shape of this area. It's a plane, so it's going to be that's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, so now I'm going to grab what I think I want to do. So I'm going to need to basically separate the bottom from the sides and the top, and I'm going to probably keep 
the sides and the top welded because I don't really want there to be a seam in my UVs where it's going to be real noticeable. So, I mean, again, like maybe if this is like a ceiling mounted thing, you would actually want to put the seam up here because you're only looking at it from down here, but I'm just going to go ahead and we'll say in this example, I'm going to tap the Q uh, key to hide my little manipulator there. So I'm just going to go ahead and shift select these edges here. Sorry, I guess they're faces. And I think that's probably going to be fine. And once again, I'm just going to go to create and then camera based. We'll hit unfold. So it looks like these are not welded. And I that just means I missed a face somewhere. And I guess I, I grabbed something else from, from some other little spot somewhere over there. That's not a big deal. We'll get to that uh, in a minute. But I kind of want to figure out where my... Ah, so it's going to be over here. Looks like I just forgot that little, that little uh, set of faces. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this again, just to shift select. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the camera is doing, but the less distortion you have, I guess conceivably, this is going to be super easy for it to unwrap, so I'm not that worried about it. But there, so we see we get a nice, a nice little rectangle, and we, it's really, really important that you try to keep your uh, your edges, your your shells in general, orient oriented either um, horizontally or vertically. It just makes packing much, much more efficient. And uh, now I think I'm going to come over here, tap the Q again. And we'll just select these inside pieces. I could also probably have symmetry on for this. That might save some time. In fact, nope, that's off. So we have those, and then I'm going to come over and do the same thing on this side. And then I probably will turn symmetry on. And there are all kinds of functions and, and approaches to do in UVs, and this is just one. Somebody else might have a better approach, but uh, this will definitely get the job done. So what I'm going to do now is I actually want to I want to get the inside faces as well, like on the on the the, uh, the recessed faces. So I'm just going to hit the plus sign. Sorry, which one is it? Sorry, it's not the plus sign. It is Shift and then the greater than symbol, and that will just expand your selection. So you can hit the less than and it'll it'll shrink it. So that's uh, greater than, less than with the shift key. I don't want to get these outside edges, I just want the inside. And once again, we'll go to create, camera based, there they all are. Do optimize and unfold. And we'll just give them all a little bit of a rotate. So we get that center line going the direction that it needs to go. And I'm not at all worried at this point about packing these UVs. I just want to get everything laid out and then I'm going to use Maya's layout tool to handle all of the scaling and arranging. So um, we will continue this in the next video.